Hello and welcome back to Ghost of Tsushima. You're joining me, Ricky, and with me is Aaron. Hello, or Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Okay, so picking back up where we left off, we were actually just discussing that, trying to remember where it was. It's been, it's been like a week since we played. Mm. So we just helped Lady Adachi avenge, or partially avenge, um, the slaughter of her family. We've got a list of names. Mm -hmm. We've got this cool looking outfit here this better armor and now i think we need to well kind of decide what we want to do really yeah yeah let's take a second just to once again it's those. open world um and while there are a lot of side quests which we may do one or two in the uh, well the main playthrough here um we'll mainly be focusing on the uh the 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 bigger quests that are actually contributing to the the main story. Yes, main so story. So there are main story quests, but there are also other stuff that um, can also help uh, with it. Yeah, we will be looking to do the side quests, but we will probably be streaming those. Yes. So we will um, try and keep the majority of the YouTube episodes focused on the main story quests, but we will take our time to complete some side quests, but we will stream it. So if you want to see those, then head over to our Twitch that should be linked in the description. Uh, hit the follow and you'll know when we're going to continue and, um, with the side quests. I mean, in, in, in regards to the side quests, that they're not they're designed that you can do them at any any time. So um, okay, if, yep. if uh, you've only watched one or two episodes of ours um, or you've watched a bunch more uh, and you go back and watch, because um, I think we're, we're hoping to maybe put the streams on YouTube afterwards as well. Yes, um, yes, we probably will. Uh, and to watch the side quest, the side quests themselves are designed to do at any point. Um, there's there's one or two that are like to get more allies, I guess. Um, that um, are at set points, but the majority of side quests are you can just do them at any point. So that they're not um, timed. So you yep. can just jump in, watch us do stuff and, at our and, leisure. Uh, yeah. I mean, Lady Adachi might be pissed. I crawled under that. Yeah, I know. I just completely ruined. I just She's noticed like, I this. I just sent you outside in new clothes. Go up to the bar. Yeah, I, I mean, I just realized that, you know, we finally got an, an, some nice armor again after our sort of destroyed set. And the, you know, the first thing you do is climb under I a house feel, and get it dirty. I absolutely feel the I'm like a seven year old boy. Okay, let's talk to this person. I don't know what they had to say. I saw a flock of birds circling in the sky, my lord. I went to see where they were and found the most beautiful place. I sat and stared, lost track of time. We all need inspiration these days. She hitting on me? During times of conflict, warriors would visit such places and write haiku. I heard the art of haiku prepares the mind and body for battle. Is it true, my lord? It is. But you don't have to be a warrior to benefit from poetry. So okay, I guess that's telling me yeah. to watch out for flocks of birds. Yep, if you see um, birds sort of like circling an area, um, in the sky, it it's means you can go over there and um uh, sit down and do haiku. Um, okay. And once you do the haiku, it, it again like a lot of the other sort of places we go to, whether it's like cutting bamboo or um finding hot springs um uh, or finding the fox shrines, it gives you the benefit. Um, yeah. to do them. So you don't have to do them, but it does boost you in some way. Oh, didn't mean to zoom out that far. Okay, interesting. We'll have to keep an eye out for that then. Yeah. Okay, having a quick look here. Um, uh, gold, I believe, indicates a main. Yes, yeah, so they're the main quests yeah. um, that have to be done before okay. you can move forward. So we can go and look for some of the Straw Hat Ronin, mm -hmm. or we could go and help Yuna with her brother. Yeah, so, mm. uh, and I think once you help Yuna with her brother, you then have to essentially save a town. And once you've saved the town, he, he makes you the uh, grappling hook. Um, okay, so, spoilers. Yeah. Um, All very, right, well, very we basic might do spoilers. the Ronin for now. If it sounds like the Yuna stuff is going to bring on a bit, we might just check out this Ronin quest first. Yeah, I think each of them has leads off to, like, one or two other branches of quests, but um, at least this Ronin one, we should get a, a Ronin outfit out of it. So that'd be good. Yeah, the Ronin outfit does look cool. That wandering samurai look. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, I'll be honest, when it does come to, um, you know, that classic Japanese um, cinema, I am aware of it. 
But other than slight bits, I haven't. I can't. I've got to be honest and say I haven't actually sat and watched. I've an watched one movie from the the golden era. Yeah, I've watched one uh, back in college, I think. Uh, so yeah, it's been a few years. Um, uh, and Who's been taken? yeah, I can't say much. Remember. <laughs> my wife is there with my son. You left your family behind. What choice did I have? I'm no warrior. Yeah. I'll help them. Stay here. Yeah, come on, Jin, give him a break. A new tale. So yeah, this just means that it's a it's a uh, quest that will start tracking. So yeah, um, because you're already obviously already tracking a quest. Yeah, this is just this is just telling you that you are about to tr track a new quest. So then <laughs> I might save it for later. Honestly, well, it be, depends how close it is. Like oh, that's a good point. Wait, does it? So will it now remain on? Oh, okay. Uh, no, it's called a place no. to call home. So it's not that one. Oh, Maybe no, I guess I have to accept it from him. Oh, well, I mean, he's run, so it's not too far. Okay, okay, we'll, we'll help him out. I'm meant to save my people. I'm Jin Sakai. I should be saving people. And, like, at the end of the day, like, the, the uh, where we're going is quite far away, so. The invaders took our house down the road. My wife okay, down the road. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Oh. That the thing is, is grim. The thing is, I usually accept them anyway because you can always just swap between quests and this stops you from having to go back and find ah, them. That is a fair point. So, okay, 140 metres, so he's basically this house right here. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Easy done. Then. So it's All up right, to you I'll how you want to do it. You've got a bow now, you can sneak, or you can just sort of go in there, but um, I think um, you do have to be careful that they don't kill the um, hostages. Challenge, let's go. Yeah, that's how we do it. That's how it be done. Okay, so I think you should be. F oh wait, we got some big lads. I'm not sure if the hostages are here right now. Anyway, um, oh, there Ooh. oh, God. Ooh. remember circle dodge. Oh, oh, yeah, there we are. That's how you do it. That's one. All right, big lad, come on. Actually, you know what? This little guy. Oh, oh, he didn't like. He didn't like that. He didn't like me turning my back on him. So obviously the Mongols are, are known for um, using bows on horseback and that. Yes. Um, so obviously they did have weapons and swords and stuff, but uh, the majority of the time they're using bows on horseback. So th again, historically they took a little bit of licensing with this because in actual fact uh, the majority of the army that um, invaded Japan was made of Chinese oh interesting because at this point um, uh, at this point Kublai Khan had conquered China or the majority of China um, and there's just obviously a lot more of them that a lot of their foot soldiers were actually Chinese um, mm -hmm. so you had the cavalry and and stuff as Mongols and when you had the, the majority of the foot soldiers were actually Chinese so um, yeah, if this was historically correct, you'd have a lot more actual Chinese um, soldiers. Interesting. Um, than just Mongol. No but, uh, Maybe outside. yeah. As I said, if they take some, um, uh, you know, creative license for, for it to make a fun game. Uh, and it is a fun game. So. No, well, that's it. I mean... You don't have to have every detail. <laughs> and but uh, what I also love though is that they're they're very honest about it when they release the game. Uh, they wanted to make it very clear to people that yes, we know a lot of the stuff is not historically correct, but we did that because we're making a fun like alternative history game rather than a, a spot on thing. Exactly. If it was spot on, this you wouldn't be doing any of this. Doing any of this. <laughs> well, this isn't looking good. That is a lot of blood. Yep. Oh, oh, oh! That looks like a dead person. A child's toy. His family didn't survive. I should let him know. Oh, that's horrors of war. That is, that is rough. Oh, quite a box jump on him, old Jin Sakai. Your family was killed. 
I'm sorry. Why didn't you save them? You're dead before I got here. I ran. Like a coward. I should be dead too. It's not your fault. Don't let their deaths be in vain. Resist the invaders. Help those in need. Yes, my lord. I mean, to a degree, he can probably sympathize with that, you know? Obviously, he was a lot younger, but we did learn uh, in previous episodes that... Yeah, his know, family he, he died. his father. Father he, died and he, he didn't help. Yeah, he felt like he couldn't do anything. And then also, to a certain degree as well, like when they charged the beach and that, like, all those people died and, like, he's the last survivor and he's trying to, to fight back after all his friends have, have sort of died around him, um, trying to rescue his, his uncle. Yes. Um, but yeah, he did get a point there um, to uh, get a skill. I got a technique point, did I not? Yep. What have we got? Carry unblockable attacks from Mongol swords. Gain moderate resolve by using a parry or perfect parry. Parry an unblockable spear attack. Actually, that would be pretty handy. But then again, I'm probably better off just dodging. <laughs> The rolls, obviously. Oh, we've got some... There's some good stuff in the oh, rolls. Um, but, oh, yeah, you can do this as well. This will actually... Um, oh, that's uh, you can actually um, get it to t um, show you the way to these things as well. So mm. we're not just, like, looking for foxes and stuff. Unless Maybe when we're yeah. doing a little bit more of that stuff. Uh, oh, this is the double... Oh, yeah, double pierce stab. strike. Yeah. Well, it does look all right. Ah, oh, yes, and the ghost stuff. Yep. I could throw an additional kunai. So what's fun here is that, like, uh, you know, you get to be that sort of a ninja type character you want as well, um, if you want, so you can do all the sneaky stuff. Uh, but funnily enough, again, uh, with the history, uh, ninjas did not exist at this point in time. Yeah. Uh, they didn't come about until a few hundred years later. Um, uh, I'm not saying assassins and people like that didn't exist. I'm just saying that in, in the, the, the what we idea, uh, know of the idea of, of, of ninjas and, and being like the clan of, of famous ninjas and stuff didn't exist at this point. Interesting. It's not going to stop us, though. We'll throw kunai at people. I mean, the funny thing is, you know, is a lot of... Um... You know, TV shows and animes and things like that that show ninjas, you know, it'll usually be your you're cloaked in black, sneaking along the rooftops, coming in, killing people all silently. But, I mean, it's been a while since I read about it and it, how accurate it was. I mean, I don't want to... Too much stock in it. But I remember reading a thing that, you know, a lot of the time, sometimes they, they dressed up like women. <laughs> so yeah, they could get yeah. into the courts of so, someone powerful. You know, they did, they did what yeah. they had to do. And then slit their throat in their sleep. <laughs> so. Yeah, I I actually went to when I was in Japan it, the first time when I was sixteen. Um, I actually went to a place. Oh, I can't remember what it's called, but um, it it had a ninja museum, and they had a little, and you know so they had they had uh, some of the stuff that ninjas would use and stuff. And yeah, one of the things they pointed out was that ninjas would. Um, disguise themselves as normal people, as beggars. Um, uh, they disguise yes. themselves as women, um, and, or just everyday normal people, because they, they wanted to blend in with the crowd, um, uh, and that. And so this idea of like dressing as like old and black and that, that mm. actually comes uh, from Kabuki, uh, Kabuki theater, I believe. Um, yes. Because yes. the assistants would dress all in black, um, and, and because the idea was that anyone dressed all in black is to be ignored. They're, yeah, exactly. They're, they're part of the backdrop. Yeah, they're the part of the backdrop, and so they would move things around on the scenes, um, exactly. uh, and that, and the audience would just expect them to ignore them. And the idea was that ninjas, uh, you, don't, you don't see ninjas because they're so clever and, and they can disguise themselves so well. So that every now and then, when one of the so-called assistants that you meant to ignore in the background comes along and they kill one the kill one of the people on stage. And they die. It's uh, the idea of like, oh, an unseen ninja an unseen um, killed them. Unseen ninja attack. Um, and but then of, that's where we get the idea of that's when what ninjas look like. Exactly. Whereas it was it was different to that. Yeah. Was it sneaking in at night along rooftops, slaughtering Who will fight? dozens of people? Oh my god! He's got a huge yep. shield. So I'm not sure if it'll show at this point how oh, to do it. Oh god! 
Um, but, ooh, because there is a point where it, t it teaches you how to do it. Um, can you jump over him? If you, if you run towards him and jump, does, no, uh, maybe not. Because, yeah, uh, what it is, I think, is that if you run towards them, you essentially jump over them, uh, or, and, and then you attack them from behind. But, oh, good luck with it. Okay. Okay, these, these guys with these whole arms are... What did you end up putting the point into? Um, perfect parry. Perfect parry. But that was a spear. That was a spear. Well, yeah. Well, these aren't technically spears, are they? Oh, I think they still they still do it, but they'll glow blue, I, I think. Yeah, exactly, and I'm not seeing yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. It's very nice of Mr. Shield Man to just yeah, stand just back say and like, let now, me do now my he's thing. coming. Now he's coming to join yeah. the party now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. When you're behind him, I uh, throw a kunai. Like if you dodge him, throw a kunai. Uh, I'm trying to remember how to throw a kunai. It's like R1 or something? L1? Yes, yes, you're right. I think it is R1. Okay, that's not working. Okay, I don't know. L1? Oh, we'll, look, we'll, we'll figure it out after we're after finding. <laughs> so, your pro best bet is probably just going to be to dodge and then go in. Because I don't think you can break your shield like you can the others. Oh, God. He turned around real quick there. Holy hell. Uh, whoop. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> Alright. Alright, big lad. Alright, biggin. Alright, he's going. Yeah, I don't. Oh. oh, no, I did break his oh, shield yeah, for a second. Yeah. I so low, yeah. He, so it doesn't get rid of the shield, just lowers his shield, I guess. Come on, he's gonna be dead. That was be so close oh. to death. Oh, oh, oh no! My feet. Oh, oh no! I'm still alive somehow. Nah. No. No, he's got me. Oh. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, I guess that's where if you have yeah. that perk. It yeah, gives you that I can't remember if it's a perk or if it's just it teaches you how to do it. Quickly look up how to throw an eye because that would have been yeah, good. Yeah, it, it actually to... would. I did read it before, but I basically I immediately how to do forgot. It. L oh, it is. R1. It is, yeah. So it is It is R1. No, that's okay. I. Oh. So you just have to have to press the direction you want to throw, I guess? i got to make sure they're equipped. Oh, they are, I think, because they, they're the only tool you have at the moment. Because in the corner of your health, yeah, two. Yeah. No, I'd, I don't know then. I did press R1 at one point, but it didn't actually oh, do well. anything. Let's continue on. Yep. Um, can I go up here at all? Um, maybe. The wind was sort of blowing. I mean, you could always just climb up, I guess, and then call the horse afterwards. That is very true. I do see the some things to climb, but it's all right. Riding the sky. That's it, sort of. Oh, I see Fox. Ah, oh, yep. Yeah. So he'll lead us to a um. We follow him. All right, he'll... get moving. Sitsu Prefecture. Sitsu. Okay, you're gonna have to leave the horse. Where do you go? There he is. All right, come on, little fella. I wonder if we'll get another charm or if it'll just. Build up to the next charm. Yeah. Matsu. Oh, there it is. Here we go. Onto the shrine. Oh, look at him there. Oh, I Inertia. see. Yep, yep. Ah, yep. So, so we're building our way towards yeah, it. Yeah, building our way to the next one. So the first one, we got a, a, a charm to sort of... Tell us what they were for, and then yeah, from here we get uh, to build it up. Okay, is there a quicker way down for me? Ah, oh, here we go. Ah. Oh. oh, some bamboo or something, I guess. Bamboo. Yeah. We can use that for upgrades. Oh, I did not mean to tap that. He's just right there. 
Quick as a flash, old Sora. Like it descends from the sky itself. Yeah. I like that sort of evening lighting. Is that a Mongol? Uh, yes. You oh. can you you can fight from a horse if you wish. Yeah, I don't know how. I I, I lost the uh. Oh no. Could press square and assassinate. Yeah, I was. He popped up just now, as I went for did it. The, did the rest of the guys show up yet, or did you manage to kill them in time? Also, I saw a gold bird, but we may. may oh, look, a golden bird. He'll he'll take he'll Ooh. take you to a um. Oh, I lost track of it. Yeah, I think we just lost it. We would have taken to a skin for a um for one of your swords. Pretty sure that's what it is. Look at these guys. Where's the hot spring? I can't remember. Yeah, these so guys you have a bow, nasty. remember? Oh yeah, how do I use my bow? Oh yeah, like this. Yep. Some of these guys look pretty nasty, don't they? Yep, aim for the heads. There we go. Oh no. Sora's off to yeah, fight them. he's like, you're at home, buddy. Ah, <laughs> oh, you could've got him. I know. Oh god, there's a few. Mm. Ah, you can do it. Oh look, the gold bird. <laughs> oh. All right, you got him. Oh, yes. Yep. Yes. All right. All right, just two left. I think. Oh, I didn't mean to call you Zora, sorry. Still kicking off over here. Okay, so those fast swordsmen, the... Oh. Oh, I might go uh, back. Okay, actually. you know what? Let, I think we've, we've killed enough. We can just go. <laughs> I mean, they do, they do look pretty nasty. <laughs> yeah, let me just, let me just go. The bird's like, hey, come down here. We're like, eh. Do you reckon I can take one of those guys off the horse, though? Uh, if they're close enough, you could... Um, Probably jump on them. They're only an archer too, so. Oof, armored archer though. Uh, oh. Can you crouch and then see? Look over the edge and see if you. Can... Uh. Oh, someone's right near you. Oop. Oh, they're a bit tough with the armor, aren't they? Oh, yeah, you could take a few. Oh, I keep accidentally calling. Sort of over. All right, they're off anyway. But yeah, with those big guys, uh, the mistake I was making was uh, their early attacks, fast ones, are easily blockable just by holding block. And then you only need to dodge their last attack. So mm. yeah, so you, you can just sort of block. You can pretty then, much yeah. block anything that's not glowing. Yeah, exactly. No, no, I just easily overlook that. So I feel like I come up against so many big weapons and spears that I'm always yeah. dodging. But with those guys, it's easy just to block, block, and then let's see what they've got lying around. Oh, hey, look, there's a dude. We can yeah. rescue him. Good thing they didn't try to kill him. You're going to be all right. I thought no samurai survived the battle at Komoda. It's over. Thank you. Be careful up there. Please, take this. What do you give me? I don't know, rice or something, maybe? Oh. Not too sure. Hmm. Uh. Up oh, supplies. Oh, 50 supplies. 50 supplies. Nice. That's, that's always good. Whoops. Sorry, sorry. I'm not trying to cut you. I'm just used to pressing triangle to get into. Get all the horses and stuff. Where are we going? Down that way. All right. Well, technically over the cliff, but yeah. Yeah. Let's see if I can. The game saw oh, oh. Oh yeah, God. that's it. That's it. Just wreck your horse and then alert oh, the enemy. Samurai, come find me. <laughs> <laughs> I just fall off this freaking thing. So there are my archers, but they are still pretty easy to take care of with the sword. 
You can also press, uh... Oh wait, no, you can't roll yet. Never mind. No, I can't. That pretty really easy. Easy peasy. It's pretty really easy to fight them when you can roll. <laughs> You're like, roll. Ah! I think they would have tried. All right, where the hell is that the bird taking you? Okay. So I, uh, did, I definitely didn't come in with the poison grace of a samurai, but I still showed them in the end. Yeah. Uh, apparently we're still on path with this bird, so okay. Yes. I think it's going to take us an entire episode just to make it to this mission, though. <laughs> what are you showing me, bit? Uh, yeah, bird. He's up there, is he? Uh, he's gone up there. Oh, oh yeah, flock. A flock. That's a flock, isn't it? What's it next to? Ooh, it's next to something. Ah, ah okay. Compose haiku. Uh, compose haiku. On death. So it's pretty much a, you get three parts where you pick a word. So the, you see the little circles that float there. There's one there, and if you look around, there'll be there'll be more. Um, Might not be too much the first. Oh no, there we go. Yep. Never ending flow. I'll go with never ending flow. And then yeah, each each segment you get to choose. Hmm. Yeah. That makes sense with the flow. I don't know. I'm no poet. Never ending flow. The earth's cold grasp underneath. Flourishing and free. That worked out okay. And what does that reward me? Headband of death. Oh. Never ending flow of the earth's cold grass underneath, flourishing and free. So you just give you a headband. So I'm wearing that. I, I like the headband of death. That looks mm. cool. Let's go with that. Okay. Got a fishing village down here. Ooh. Oh, I can make it down this. Okay. Uh, I guess just be careful because I mean it may have no enemies there, but just oh, I have a feeling I might be aware. Come across some. There may be some. There we go. Managed to make that down. Oh, oh, oh hammer. Oh hammer. So far we've got some peaceful people. That's good. Yeah. But um, it doesn't necessarily mean there's no. Mm. Mongols. Doesn't mean the Mongols haven't been through and yeah. maybe have some people hanging around. Oh, some resources to be found, that's all. Yeah, good. I know. It's like, I know you guys are struggling, but uh, I need that. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that is now mine. Thank you. Okay, no, it seems okay. So far, so good. Cool. All right, well, let's just check the wind. Yeah, it's 130, 130 meters, meters away, so just over that rise, probably. There are a couple of people to talk to, but we might come back and visit them another day. Yeah, exactly. I think we want to... At least make it to the uh, the main quest um, target for this episode. It'd be good. Exactly. We have gotten around and seen a few things and written a haiku. Yes, found a fox then. Follow the birds to write a haiku. Yeah, everyone's everyone's getting to see We've got a little fights. bit more of the uh, world with us. Yeah, there's it's actually quite alive. There's a lot to do. There's, mm. there's quite a lot within the small space. When I looked at the map at first and... It was only laying out the first few quests for us. I was like, okay, there's not too much, but there's actually a lot. Yeah, no, you can find a lot of stuff. And as, as mm. we saw with that guy that ran up, ran up to us, so like a lot of the side quests and that you find along the way. I don't necessarily point to it. Straw hat mercenaries were seen in the area. Okay. Is that tree on fire? Yeah, it says to it. Oh, it's a cart. Oh, it's caught the tree on fire. Sorry. Yes. Ah, yep. It says investigate the burning cart. Mongol convoy ambushed. Ambushed. Could be the straw hat's doing. Hmm. Attack started here, but there had to be more than one Mongol. Oh, blood on the grass. Looks like more bodies up ahead. Okay. Well, yeah, I think that is a place to leave it for this episode. Yeah, it's a good cliffhanger. So if you That's wish it. to uh, see what happens, please join us next time. A little bit more CSI Jin Sakai. Mm -hmm.
either. Uh, right. uh, uh, <laughs> oh, just, you ruined it because you said it, but yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm allowed to enjoy my little moments. Uh, anyway, everyone, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. But until next time, um, to be, to be continued. continued. Bye-bye now. Bye.